how to stream on Xbox with a webcam. Hey guys, it's Cody. Today, you guys must be wondering if you clicked on this video, what shirt is Cody wearing today? I'll tell you. Check this bad boy out. It's a Zelda and Blue Moon crossover. So if you're old enough to know what Blue Moon is, good job. But for real though, you probably clicked on this video because you wanna know how to use your webcam with your Xbox. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I use my webcam with my Xbox One. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to take your pimp hand and pimp slap the sh out of that like button. Don't don't make the subscribe button feel lonely. Make sure to give it a nice firm handshake to signify that friendship with it. Also, make sure to keep an eye out in different corners of the screen and whatnot. I've hidden one Steam key, yes, one Steam key of a free game. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You've probably never heard of it before, but it's free, so why not? So keep an eye out somewhere in the video. There will be a Steam key posted there somewhere. Five minutes later. All right, so let's get started. So to start off, I'm using the Logitech C920. I've heard that basically any Logitech web Webcam works with streaming with Xbox One. Do not quote me on that because I am not 100% sure. I have not tested every single Logitech webcam because I am not rich, my dudes. But I can tell you that the C920 works as well as a couple other Logitech webcams. If you need a suggestion, links in the description below. You can buy any of the webcams in the description below and I know that they work. Also, if you guys are wondering why there's a glare on the screen, it's because I went through so much effort. Look at this picture that I just took of my setup. This is what it looks like behind the scenes. Your boy is poor. Your boy is broke but I'm trying to help give you these tutorials. I literally took a lamp and I, I tilted the lampshade to make it work for this video. We're balling on a budget okay. So basically all you gotta do is there's a USB on the side of the Xbox One where I'm trying to plug it in which I am also having difficulty in. You just really gotta shove that sh in there. There's also a couple USB ports on the back so if you can't get it in the side one you can shove it in through the back. Okay. But basically, you just want to take that webcam, plug it in one of the USB slots on the Xbox, find a nice place to put it, because where the webcam is sitting, that's what the viewer's going to be seeing. You try and get it to stay there, mine would not stay there. I would suggest maybe getting some duct tape or maybe some Velcro, however you want to get it to stay, unless you're dumb like me and you don't want to put it on a freaking soundbar. I don't know why I put it on a soundbar, let's be honest. You can tell that I've done this before because my webcam is tilted and it's going to look great. But anyways, once you're done with that, go ahead. Hey, you can see me in the back. Once you're done with that, oh my god, Twitch has an update. Are you serious? I'm trying to film a video, Twitch, please. Anyways, while we wait for that to upload, you can see my existential crisis in the background. As we're waiting for Twitch to update, if you don't already, make sure to go and download the Twitch app from the Xbox store, and then go ahead, log in if you haven't already, click broadcast. This is the third tab from the right at the top, unless Twitch updates this video because they keep updating the stupid layouts of the UI. Otherwise, click in the top right, and I pick Twitch because we're streaming on Twitch, duh. And then and you can pick your camera position right there. I'm choosing bottom left just because I'm a bottom left person, I guess. I'm just going to go ahead and change my title. You can't see it because my filming is trash, but basically it says, please watch me stream. I'm desperate. I am a good streamer. So <laughs> once you've created your title with all of that, um, go just ahead and hit enter <laughs> and then go ahead and click start streaming. I'm going to hit start streaming. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the actual page. So let me brood up my Twitch page. As you can see, when you're on the the Twitch settings page, you actually get this nice little privacy screen from uh, Xbox, Microsoft, so they don't see all your settings. So the Twitch stream isn't actually going to start until we boot up a game. So let's boot up a freaking game, shall we? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and boot up Outlast because I used this for the last video and there's no way in heck that there's going to be another update for this game because why would there be an update for a game that came out so many years ago and there's no multiplayer for it? So luckily for me, there wasn't an update but we got lucky enough with like a 10, like 10 minute load time. Okay, it wasn't actually 10 minutes. All right, I'm being a little dramatic. But the load time was so long. It was probably at least a one to two minute load time just to get to the freaking menu. Once we, once we got past that though, I clicked new game, I clicked continue, and another loading screen. So once you're done with all of the loading because my Xbox is trash, I literally got bored forming this video, filming this video, excuse me, I can't talk. You're good to go. So now you can see that we are rocking some Outlast with the webcam plugged in and we're ready to take on some spooks in Outlast.